Let's just review some of our basic exponent rules that we're definitely going to need to know about in order to do well on the SAT. So one of the first ones is the idea of the product of powers. So for instance, if I had a to the b times a to the c, in that situation we would add and that becomes a to the b plus c. Now this is as long as you have the same base. So if you have, for instance, 2 to the b times 2 to the c, that would be 2 to the b plus c. Now one way to kind of remember these rules a little better is by knowing that each rule has an opposite. So the opposite of the rule that we just announced, which is that when you're multiplying in this situation, you're adding the exponents. So therefore the opposite is also true. If you're dividing in this situation, then you're subtracting the exponents. So a to the b divided by a to the c is a to the b minus c. So there's another big rule and that rule will also have an opposite. This one's called the power of a power. So for instance, if I had a to the b and all of that is raised to the c power, that's a power of a power because we already had a to the b and we're raising that to yet another power. So in that situation, you multiply. That'll become a to the bc. Similarly, there's the opposite rule to that, which is saying that if I had a to the b and instead of raising it to a power, I'm going to go ahead and take a radical of it. I'm going to take a root of it. Well, that's a to the b and all of that is to the c root. So in that situation, while well, we still have a to the b as our kind of structural unit there, but instead of multiplying that by the c, we're going to divide that by c. So just to review that rule, if I have something with an exponent and I'm raising that to another exponent, I'm multiplying. But if I have something to an exponent and I'm taking a radical of that, I'm dividing by the thing that's in the radical, in this case, the c. So these are the four rules that you need to know.